If you think you need a lot of dosh to enjoy Las Vegas, I can tell you now that there are a lot of things in Vegas that don't require any dime off your pocket to enjoy with. Steve and I spent a week soaking in the Vegas atmosphere that I am happy to share with you everything we did for free. Let me walk you through it from the south to the north of Las Vegas Boulevard, or popularly known as the Strip. First, I must tell you that to really enjoy this experience, be ready to wander Vegas on foot. That's why everything I seem very close together, apart from those that are the northern part of the Strip where you can take the bus. And therefore, you need to wear your comfortable shoes. So here we go. It is located in the southmost part of the Strip. Built in 1959, it has become a popular landmark in the city that tourists queue up to take photos with the sign in the background. Walking along northbound, you will see this chapel to your right. Apparently, it is the oldest chapel on the Strip. Notable weddings held here were those of Richard Gere and Cindy Crawford in 1991 and Billy Bob Thornton and Angelina Jolie in 2000. It is a half-sized replica of the statue situated at the hotel's foreground. Towards the end of our visa, it was rest in Golden Knight Jersey in support of the local ice hockey team. Located inside New York, New York as one of the hotel's anchor shops, you will have the fun exploring 13,000 square foot of delicious experience. Get lost inside a colorful world of M&M and explore all four floors of colorful fun. It is the second largest in the world next to London. It is a lighted water feature which sinks water bursts to music located at the main entrance of the hotel. And while it's at the area, don't forget to roam around the shops at Crystal, an upscale luxury shopping mall at the city center. You must be tired and hungry by now, so it is now time to stop for a snack. And I mean a huge snack. Just outside Planet Hollywood, it isn't free unfortunately, but experience the biggest pizza slice you will ever have. It's about two feet long, if not bigger, a peanut pizza. It is that iconic musical fountain that takes place in front of the Bloody Hotel, making it visible both from the street and its neighboring structures. The show takes place every 30 minutes in the afternoons and early evenings, and every 15 minutes from 8 p.m. to midnight. Be there at least 5 minutes before it starts to get your vantage point. It can quickly get crowded. <laughs> It is inside the hotel at the far end of the lobby. The display changes according to season. There are five. This train is New Year, spring, summer, fall, and winter. We were there in April where they were a variety of tropical exhibits. The Forum Shops is said to be the highest grossing mall in the U.S., with higher sales per square foot than that of Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. It is a huge, definitive luxury shopping destination, built as an extension wing of the main hotel and casino. Inside, you will see spiral escalators, different statues and fountains. It is a short animatronic show telling the story of the myth of Atlantis. Unfortunately, the show wasn't on when we were there, so we settled for photos. Yeah. 
Arc de Triomphe at two-thirds the size of the original Arc. This is located just outside Paris, Las Vegas and in the middle of the busy road. You've got the Eiffel Tower standing tall at 540 feet. It is a half-scale replica of the original tower. And then the hotel sign in the shape of the Montgolfier balloon. Dance and enjoy the live band performances while sipping your favorite cocktail. Or even whilst playing in your favorite slot machines, you can still join the fun at this garden-like setting and trees laced with twinkling lights. Features Chilean flamingos, winged teal ducks, and other birds. There are also koi fishes and turtles. Then walk further in the courtyard and look for the memorial plaque of Bugsy Seagull. It is next to the outdoor wedding chapel. Bugsy was the driving force behind the development of the Las Vegas Strip. It is an artificial volcano along the strip that erupts nightly at 7 p.m. and 8 p.m., but it's 9 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Then don't forget to look for the atrium at the hotel entrance, which features a large number of palm trees, water features, and other rainforest flora. <laughs> The hotel uses Venice, Italy as its design inspiration and features architectural replicas of various Venetian landmarks, including the Grand Canal and the Gondola Rides. Then don't forget to explore the Grand Canal shops for a Venetian-inspired shopping experience. Get inside the wind and enjoy this nightly quirky performance all enclosed within the hotel with its 40-foot waterfall pine-topped mountain. And again, don't forget to wander around the Esplanade for another luxury shopping experience. If you like tapping and clapping your shoes to a cowboy tune, then visit Jilly Saloon for free line dancing lessons whilst enjoying the style and action of the Wild West. Enjoy the free circus acts at the hotel. Walk up to the stairs by the casino area to find the action. So you are now at the north of the Strip. You will see this chapel to your right. Notable celebrities who had their weddings held here were Frank Sinatra, Bruce Willis and Demi Moore and Britney Spears. Each day, about 4,000 people visit the gold and silver pawn shop on the Las Vegas Strip. No, it's not a sign of recession. Since Spawn Stars debuted on History Channel in 2009, it has become one of the network's highest rated shows, making the gold and silver pawn shop a popular Vegas attraction. Let your eyes enjoy and blow up viewing the Golden Nuggets exhibit at the hotel. It is the best experience to be had in Vegas, in my opinion. The display of neon lights, the different tourists, the live bands, the food, the combination of everything. It is like the whole of the strip rolled into one. Even if you don't play, just try visiting each casino or as many casinos as you can to appreciate the competition and enjoy the noise of slot machines blasting away.
down below the link of the 28 casinos we visited in Las Vegas, all of them just along the strip. Just visit the hotels along the strip and be in awe with how grand some of them can be. Most of them offer free attractions once inside. What a wonderful bonus! Or just be at the strip and look around you. Do some people watching or enjoy the neon lights at night? It's fun. So there you go. I hope this list helps you in planning your Las Vegas tour for when you finally book the trip of a lifetime. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.